Hello, and this is uh, another tutorial on uh, API testing with Python series. Uh, the past video I have barely mentioned uh, basic authentication, uh, uh, but uh, now that I have a good example, I can actually show how to implement this uh, basic authentication uh, for your API. So uh, I have opened the uh, Wikipedia page for basic authentication. Now, it actually, you can see what are the steps that we need to perform on the client side here. So basically, the, the, there are four steps here. The first one is just uh, says that uh, you have a username and password that needs to be combined with the colon. Next step, basically two and three basically says that uh, you need to perform a base, base 64 encoding uh, to that combined string. Then the last step here says that you need to prepend uh, the uh, string basic with space. Then later add that to, a, to the header. Uh, so uh, these are this is the basic uh, principle behind the protocol behind the uh, basic authentication. I'm going to show you how this is this can be done with uh, Python. So yeah, uh, without the help of any other uh, you know uh, basic auth libraries. So um, Okay, the uh, API example for this, a uh, very good uh, uh, example for this would be Jenkins. Basically, Jenkins is a continuous integration uh, tool. Uh, so the the uh, API, uh, Jenkins API that basically uses uh, basic authentication. So I'm going to show you how we can authenticate uh, uh, with, uh, with Python. So uh, to run your Jenkins on your system localhost uh, what you have to do is uh, there may be several ways to do this but uh, the what I have done is I have downloaded this uh, war file uh, basically you need a Java installed in your system and uh, Java should be added to your path so you should be able to uh, uh, run this command Java hyphen jar and Jenkins dot war this should uh, uh, you sh should be able to host uh, Jenkins server on your local machine so since I can host this on my local machine this is a this would be a good candidate to show uh, basic authentication so uh, yeah first the dashboard probably will look something like this you may have to set the password first time uh, once you do that all you have to do is sign in and your dashboard will pretty much look like this then you just click on the the, your profile name here the name then if you click on that you can actually see what's your ID Jenkins user ID this is the user ID then if you click on configure basically this will give you a token on the first time when you do this uh, you will get a token uh, get an option to create a token you can actually do that action and copy the token uh, basically that token will be a long string so now once uh, now that I have already done that uh, I have a button here says that is uh, add new token so if you are doing it the first time you get some options to probably a button uh, I think uh, to get that token once you have that token keep it stored somewhere so you need your user ID and uh, basically the author, author token so yeah now that you have your user username user token username I mean auth token username and these are the two things you need for authentication so let's uh, go by step uh, do this step by step okay the first thing is to combine these two strings with the colon right so before doing that I'm trying to hit this URL say JSON yeah this endpoint here API JSON pretty true if I am uh, authenticated correctly then I should be able to get this uh, response so I will just uh, try to hit this uh, URL without uh, any authentication and let me see what is the output first okay so first step uh, I'm just going to create a session here session is equal to request dot uh, session okay once I have created the session I'm just going to do a get to that endpoint, uh, say let me just add this URL here plus okay. 
Now let me just print the response. Resp then print print resp dot json maybe text okay let's see what is the output of this okay i'm going to just run the file python and the file name okay i need to go to the directory let me just copy the directory CD Okay, let me just run the file Okay, now if you see it says you, you are authenticated as anonymous basically there is some authentication problem You are not been you have not been authenticated correctly. So now let's do the Let's perform this uh, basic authentication steps and see what happens first thing uh, you need to import base 64 base 64 model that is from base 64 base 64 import import b b64 encode okay so that is done next is to if you go back to the wikipedia page first step is to combine with the sem uh, colon right so as we, if you notice here i have stored both auth token and username as byte string so that it be easier for me to uh, do the encoding okay uh, let me just uh, yeah let me just put this at the bottom okay now first step is to encode let's see i'm just going to add create a string byte string i'm going to add username then plus white string colon then i'm going to add auth token okay so first step done i will combine the username and password with the colon second is to i need to do the base 64 uh, encoding so i'm going to do b64 encode then pass yes then just since this this will return me a byte string but uh, i need the encoded string in uh, string format so i'm going to do a decode with ascii decode then ascii okay this is done i'm going to reassign this back to yes say now i just need to create one header This will be a key value pair if you go back to the page again it should be in this format right authorization we should be the key then the value should be prepared by this is the full last step basic space so I need to do basic space right then here I need to add the RDS so this will be the header so now I need to add, for the request that I'm sending I need to add this header header equal to s equal to header okay now let's just run the file and check okay we just run the same file again yeah as you can see i got the response here so i have been authenticated correctly so this is a basic principle behind the uh, basic authentication for a rest api so first you need to add a uh, command with the column then you need to do the authentic do encoding then you just need to add it uh, with your header basically with the prepending of uh, basic and space so that's all thank you for watching